Hi, this is John from MySolarHome.us. Uh, welcome to this latest video. I'm going to be talking about home energy backup solutions, basically batteries that you can use to back up power for your home. I'd love it if you can subscribe to my channel. I keep producing new videos, you'll be able to see them as they come up. I've been doing solar for the last 10 years and we've been doing batteries and energy storage for the last year, year and a half. Battery storage solutions are great if you are combining them with solar. And when I'm talking about battery storage solutions or energy backup, I'm talking about a large battery solution. So where you know you can think about backing up your home appliances, uh, your lights, everything in your home, just like a, a regular generator. So they could replace a portable generator, or they could replace a full home generator. So those are the kinds of uh, battery based home uh, energy systems that we'll be talking about in this uh, video. Now there are smaller battery generators available which are good for you know things like camping or you want to just run your television and maybe your fridge at home for a few days. Then those are known as battery generators and I have a separate video on those. So those are much smaller. Now the larger battery based solutions that we're going to talk about today. Now these are only good if you have solar or you're planning to have solar. Now the reason I only recommend it with solar is that these are based on batteries. So once the battery runs out of charge, and which, you know, even if you have a large battery backup solution for your home, you can't really back up your home for more than two days or two and a half days at the most. After that, you'll be stuck if the power outage continues. It's with solar, the solar panels will keep recharging the battery so that you'd have continuous power backup even if you have a six or seven day outage. The other reason for, for batteries to work with solar is you get a 26% tax credit back on the amount you spend if you have buy it with solar or if you pair it with solar. If you have an existing solar system, you add batteries, you can claim the tax credit. Today, batteries and energy backup based on battery solutions, they're expensive. Be prepared to spend a minimum of 12, 10 to 12 grand. And if you're looking at bigger solutions, we're talking about 25, 30, 35 grand just for the batteries alone. So the batteries that we're gonna to cover today are the Zonan. Yes, that's pronounced Zonan followed by the Tesla Powerwall, the Electric, then we have the Generac PowerCell, the Panasonic Evervolt, the LG RUSU battery, N phases N charge battery, and a new entrant called Impericon with their lithium ferrous phosphate batteries. Tesla batteries are the most popular batteries available in the market today. And for good reason, they are super products. They can be installed with an existing solar system because they are AC coupled. Battery systems which are DC coupled can only be installed with new solar together with uh, new solar panels. So that's an issue. These batteries from Tesla, they are about 50 inches, like a 50 inch TV. They can be stuck up on your wall on the outside or inside. They also come with a gateway unit, which is about half the size, 26 inches, or about six inches wide. The battery units are about 250 pounds in weight and the gateway is about 45 pounds. The base size of the Tesla battery is 13.5 kilowatt hours and you can double up to 27 to 40 and then go up to 81. That's a lot of capacity. The Tesla inverter is a 5000 watt inverter and the good thing is as you add additional batteries they stack up 5000 can become 10,000 with two batteries, 15,000 with three batteries. At 10,000 watts, that's with two batteries, you can run a central AC on the Tesla. The warranties for Tesla are great from, and reviews in the market are also very good. So this is clearly an excellent choice. Uh, the battery is rated for outdoors at NEMA 3R. Now for California and Hawaii, that makes sense to put it outside, but I would think uh, doing it in the Northeast with a lot of snow and hail and sleet might be a better idea to put it inside your garage or in your basement. The next battery we have is LG. LG has also been around for some time. LG, unlike Tesla, only makes the batteries, so you have to buy the inverter separately. LG batteries, fortunately, can also be installed with uh, an existing system, um, but it has to be either a solar edge or uh, an SMA-based system. The unit, it's called the LG RESU battery, and it comes from uh, smaller size of 2.9 kilowatt hours going up to 6.6 .6 to 9.3 and to a max of 18.6 kilowatt hours. 
the LG battery's inverter can go up to a maximum of 6.7 kW or 6700 watts, which is a slight limitation. The unit is about 29 by 36 into 8 inches. It weighs about 220 LV, which is the, I'm, I'm talking about the 9.3 kWh unit. The inverters, which are these, either the solar edge storage inverter or an SMA, they have to be purchased separately. The battery is, um, is outdoor proof and rated IP55. One of the disadvantages of the LG system is it works on the same inverter um, both for both the solar as well as the batteries. So this limits the amount of usable power you can get from both your solar and the battery at the same time. This is a, a limitation that exists with LG but it's not there with Tesla. But it's still a very popular um, high performing battery from LG. Next we have the Panasonic batteries. The Panasonic batteries are completely an indoor based solution. Uh, you can, it's also AC coupled so you can install it with an existing solar system or buy it with a new one. The sizes come from 5.7 kilowatt hours to 11.4 kilowatt hours to 17.1 kilowatt hours and if you need to add a second unit you can double it. The inverter is a 5500 watt inverter and it's stackable you can go up to 13.2 kW. The Panasonic battery unit weighs about 270 pounds and it also has an inverter unit which is about 85 pounds and as you can see these uh, can get stacked in against your wall inside your basement or your, um, or your garage. Generac batteries are only available when you buy Generac solar plus storage from one vendor together. You, they, they, Generac currently doesn't have a solution for an existing solar system. Generac batteries cannot be installed with an existing solar system. You have to buy Generac batteries with um, solar that they provide. Generac's offering is a consolidated solar plus storage offering. In my opinion, they are a little overpriced right now. The Generac battery sizes come at, uh, the lower size is 8.7 kilowatt hours. The next size is 11.4, then 14.3 and 17.1. These batteries are made of three lithium modules and Generac fortunately allows you to swap out and replace at a module level. So if you have a, if you have a, a fault later, you could just potentially remove one of these units and the cost of replacement is low. The inverter starts at 3.4 kW, goes up to 4.5, 5.6, and 6.7. Again, like the LG batteries, it maxes out at 6.7, which is which could be an issue if you have if you're running a lot of appliances, your washing machine, ACs, etc. in your home. And the battery unit weighs, weighs about 445 pounds. That's the 17 kW unit. Uh, the 11.4 kW unit weighs about 335 pounds. And the size, as you can see, it's it's similar to the other batteries at 68 into, into 22 into 10 into 68. The Generac unit comes with a battery, an inverter, and an automatic transfer switch. Again, it's rated for outdoors at NEMA 3R, but preferable installations indoors better. The Zonan, yes, and it's called Zonan batteries are really good looking, and these are indoor units. They come at sizes of 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18 kilowatt hours. So extremely modular. You can go up the sizes. The inverter goes up from 4 kW to 8 kW, which is more than enough to run most households, including larger households. The 10 kWh, the 10 kWh module size is 26 into 75 into 14. Again, similar to the others in this category. And it weighs about 377 pounds. The Zonin is an AC coupled, so you can install Zonin with an existing solar system or add with a new solar system. Zonin is a German company. Zonin is doing very well in Europe and they are making a big effort to enter the US market. Zonin boasts of a network of batteries where it can supply each other with lower cost power and in fact sell power to the grid too. The network mode is not available in the US now, but the company is working hard to get it through here. Zonin's lithium ferrous phosphate battery chemistry is the next generation in lithium batteries. Tesla, LG, Panasonic, 
generate, they all use lithium, nickel metal, cobalt uh, chemistries. The risk of thermal runoff or the batteries catching fire is significantly lower with, with lithium iron phosphorus technology. And they have more cycles, they tend to last longer than the chemistries of the other batteries. That's a plus for the zone and battery. Electric is another lithium iron phosphorus based chemistry battery. It comes in sizes of 10, 15, and 20 kilowatt hours. The inverter is 5.5 kilowatt hours. It's again an indoor inverter, but the battery can be placed outdoor. It weighs about 370 pounds, the size of 28 into 50 into 9 inches. The inverter is about 18 into 40 into 6, which is slightly larger. Electric is based out of California. The batteries are extremely good looking. Monitoring is the monitoring app for electric is outstanding. Like Zonen, these are more expensive, but they're new and we expect them to do pretty well in the US market. Enphase, the microinverter company, has a storage solution known as in charge battery. Their sizes start from 3.36 kilowatt hour to 6.72 to 10.08. You can add units and stack them up more than this. In phase batteries are lithium iron phosphate chemistry batteries. The inverter size is from 1.28 to 3.84 kW, which is slightly on the lower side. The in phase battery system can only be installed with existing solar panels, which, uh, which have IQ series microinverters on them, or, you, or if you buy a completely new in phase based system. So they only work with uh, in phase microinverters. The in phase Battery systems' greatest claim to fame is the high level of integration between the battery and their inverters. This gives the ability for your solar system and your battery to power much more of your home. You're likely over the longer term to save much more using an end-phase battery system paired with their microinverters because the system and the battery both can produce the most amount of power when you need it. Almost all the other solutions have a limitation in terms of when both solar as well as the battery are powering your home, which is likely in the daytime when you want maximum power output from your solar as well as from your battery so that you use as little as you can of the high priced grid's power. The end phase system will produce the maximum amount of power. Empericon is a new entrant into the battery storage market. They have launched a lithium iron phosphate battery. They are very aggressively pricing their models. Their sizes go from 5, 10, 15 to 20 kWh, and these are stackable, so you can go up 20, 40, 60, 80. The biggest benefit of the Impericon battery is the huge inverter, 12 kilowatts, bigger than any of the other batteries in the market. That means even with the smallest 10 kilowatt unit, you could potentially run your central AC for a few hours or maybe for an hour or two. Of course, you need bigger batteries to run it for longer. Empiricon's battery size is at 32 into 13 to 50 inches. It looks a little different from the other batteries because the cells inside are stacked horizontally versus the vertical stacking of the other batteries. It looks more like a small dishwasher. It's an indoor battery. You need to put it in your basement or in your garage. The large inverter gives it great capacity. The pricing is great. The warranty is similar to the others at 10 years. Three is AC coupled, so you can install it with existing solar or you can buy it with a new solar system. A 10 kWh unit weighs about 265 pounds. The monitoring is a little rudimentary compared to the other manufacturers, but given the value, the pricing, the new battery technology with lithium iron phosphate, this is a battery worth considering. Comparing prices of energy storage solutions is a little bit of a minefield because there are so many different sizes um, of these batteries that it's difficult to do an apples to apples comparison. So we've broken them up into three different types. One is critical load, one is whole home light, and one is whole home. So the critical load is when you're looking for backup for your home, for your lights, for your television, for your refrigerator, for your internet, for your laptops, etc., keep the house running, keep the cooking going, but no AC, no washing machine, no large loads. The whole home light version would be all of that, plus you could run your central heating. You may not be run, able to run your central heating and your washing machine, 
and you may not be able to run your central or your central AC for six or seven hours at a go, but maybe for a few hours. That'll be your whole home light. And the whole home would be, you know, you can run everything in your home and you have enough power to last a day, sometimes even into a second day. In all three of these, we're assuming that you have solar panels and those solar panels will charge the batteries the next day, day and a half, so that the batteries give you power for another day after that and you can continue to have power during a long power out. So this section, we're gonna look at the pricing for these various battery options. First, let's look at the pricing for powering just a critical load. In Paracon, their in-store cost for a 10 kWh battery is about 9,000 bucks. Tesla, their 13.5 kWh battery, which is a single Tesla Powerwall, comes at about, in-store will be about $11,000. The Sonnen and the Electric, they come in-store at about $20,000. The Panasonic, they have a 10 kWh uh, solution which retails for about fifteen thousand. Enphase's ten kilowatt hour solution is a little expensive. They're around about nineteen thousand. The Generac power cell it's about seventeen thousand, and the LG Chem is again about about twelve and a half thousand. The second option is the whole home light, where we're talk, talking about at least seventeen to thirty kilowatt hours of power uh, in your batteries. Uh, in this option, the pricing from Tesla is about $17,000. With Impericon, it's about $11,000. Sun and Electric, they retail for about $30,000 installed for a 20 kilo kilowatt hour unit. Enphase is, again, today they're the most expensive in the market. They look like they're about $30,000 or so for a 20 kilowatt hour uh, installation. The Generac would be about $25,000. Uh, and the LG Chem will also be in the same in the similar $21,000, $22,000 range. And if you're looking at an even bigger option where you can power everything in your home, we're talking about prices which are in the very high range. The only three brands, Impericon, Tesla, and LG, which are sub 30,000, the others will all be more than 35, 40,000 for sure. The more power backup you're looking at, the prices become astronomical. Usually, my advice to people who are looking at battery solution to start now is to either go with a light version the whole home light or the go with just the critical load option now in terms of recommendations on, on which ones to buy the tesla powerwall today is really the best battery solution available in the market it's uh, aesthetically it looks great um, the electronics that support it are fabulous the monitoring is great you can install it both indoors as well as outdoors if you're willing to let go a little bit of the bells and whistles of you know fabulous monitoring and and very good looking graphs and what's happening, but you're looking for a solid, reliable solution then the Impericon offering is worth looking at. But in terms of aesthetics and looks and wow value, the Sonnen and the Electric are awesome. Standing product, whoever's using them, even though they pay top dollar, very happy with them. Panasonic, LG, uh, and Generac. Now these are Big brand names, they bring very good products to the market. They're not as sexy looking, dare I say, compared to um, the Teslas and the Sonnens of the world, but they do bring pretty reliable options in the market. I would go with these if you can get good deals for them. Right now, their pricing is pretty, pretty high. Thank you for watching. Uh, do subscribe. I look forward to comments. If there's, if there's any information that you think is in, inaccurate here, please put put down your comments or you can email me i'm at john at mysolarhome.us have a wonderful day